Just know you're not alone Cause I'm gonna make this place your That was easier than I thought it would be. are so dark I can't get back. Now you're wearing a miner's helmet. They usually have lights on them, don't they? I, I'm a little busy here. It looks like you're jacking off at a wall. Maybe if I blend into the wall, the specters won't find me. Well, you're doing a shitty job of blending in. I can say that much. Yep, <laughs> I was good. I walked right into it. <laughs> ah, I forgot you were here. Show me your credits, mon ami. For man, he's on a quest to purify the land. He, he's here to kill the specters. I know where he is. He's currently inside this building. There's something big going on in the postal service. The postal service? That's where we send out the packaged forms. The problem is that uh, nobody can remember which floor it can be found on. That's pretty sad. I've heard that some of the workers on the ground floor spout the same number. That could be the floor number. I wouldn't know, though. I'm down here all the time, I suppose. Wow. Yeah. No. <laughs> Yep, there he is. Down, you again. You are decidedly everywhere. This must not be coincidental. Perhaps you are already aware of this, but it appears that the story housing the Postal Service is overrun by ectoplasm. Maybe the Chief of the Spectres is inside here. Say again? Ah yes, but the spot is teeming with creatures unbound by nature. Surely a location saturated with Spectres would be the place. I'll be on my way then. But wait, are you confident in your skills? Maybe you'd like to test that batting arm of yours. Go on. 
My dear shaman, it's your call. Would you like to duel this man in fair combat? Sure. <laughs> Ho ho there, Batter, you're gonna need a better RBI than that if you're going to eradicate the specters of the land. Formidable indeed. Nevertheless, we should part ways, Cap Man of Purification. Sure. Bye. <laughs> okay then. Hi, Zachary. What are you looking at? <laughs> Hello again, dear Pablo. Zachary, what are you doing? You're a seller of goods. Not a, not a driver of plots like yours truly. And quit calling me Pablo, thou knowest I prefer the calling name of the judge. <laughs> Don't be so coy, feline companion, I was just traveling these parts and merchant life is rather dull. Besides, when are you going to introduce me to your friend? I already know all about Shaman, she knows all about me too, a fun mutual friendship. My name is Alan, why do you care? Are you trying to sell me something? <laughs> oh no, you got me you got the wrong impression, my friend. Go on already. <laughs> He's a strange one, Mr. Judge, though I confess my purpose for coming up here was to help you and guide you through this office. Speak up then, peddler of much valuable merchandise. <laughs> In case you are asked for a password, let it be known that the password is right under our noses. There's not but teeth under my nose, your advice sucks. <laughs> As much as I'd hate to agree, I can't make neither heads nor tails of such a hint. Perhaps Simon is seeing something we cannot. I'm sure she's already figured this all out. Well then, it is within my own better judgment that we should trust Shaman. <laughs> That's the spirit! Now if you'll excuse me, there's a giant pond of plastic with my name on it. <laughs> what a dope. <laughs> Actually, I want to go save again so I can quit recording. Trouble